Defying physics, the face of the Grizzlies is making the game of basketball incredibly fun to watch. The mix of Morant's jaw-dropping springiness, his slithery finishing through contact, and straight ferocity has led to some iconic posters in 2022. This video details the elements in Ja Morant's game, which have allowed him to snap Memphis's franchise scoring record in back-to-back -back outings. And does the product of Murray State have any chance of winning MVP? Stay tuned for all that and more. Right quick, only 12% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops and I'll follow you back. Link is down below in the description for those two platforms. February 16th of 2022, Samorant scored 44 points against Portland. He had that same total against the San Antonio Spurs in December of 2020, yet Ja was still behind Mike Miller for the single-game Memphis Grizzlies scoring record. Finally, during a road outing in Chicago, basketball's most intriguing young talent went off for a blistering 46-piece, snapping Miller's 45-point franchise best mark. Jaw's array of polished, endlessly worked on weapons deep within his bag are allowing him to get buckets at will. We'll of course dive much deeper into that. But setting up probably the layup of the year, give credit to the stable play sets within the offensive system of Memphis coach Taylor Jenkins that are allowing Morant to thrive. Getting tricky, leading into a horn set, meaning two bigs at the top of the key and one guard near the logo dishing it to them First, Steven Adams sets a flare screen for Kyle Anderson, which gets the defense off balance. Morant fakes the pass to Anderson, instead giving it to Adams. Kyle then immediately sets a UCLA screen for Morant. Ja cuts to the basket, and Adams lays a nifty bouncer in his pocket. Most brilliant part of that entire motion, however, is the once-in-a-lifetime spin move for the finish in traffic. Then there was how the Grizz PG performed on Monday night. Ja Morant left us all speechless, finishing with a blistering 52-piece as the Memphis Grizzlies got their third victory against the San Antonio Spurs in 2021-22. Morant had the greatest individual scoring performance in Memphis Grizzlies history for the second game in a row, breaking his own franchise record for points in a game. First, Morant put Jakob Pertl on a poster that'll be on the walls of millions worldwide, floating up from far beyond the rim to throw down an all-time great jam. Next, Steven Adams made a pass that continued his dominance in the second half, but just like how they've played all season, the gritty Spurs, who are much better than their record, 22 points, DeJounte Murray, who had 21 and 8 dimes, they opened up the second half on a 10-2 run and ensured the Grizzlies couldn't take their foot off the gas pedal. But Ja willed his squad to the W, like he has been all year. Morant's leap in year three has been exceptional. He's averaging 26.8 points, 5.8 boards, and 6.9 dimes per game. His shooting efficiencies have gone up, even though he's attempting a higher volume from the field. He leads the NBA in points in the paint per game and uses that to shoot an efficient 54.2% from inside the arc, which is insane for a point guard. His three-point shooting has been streaky this year, but his 33% on four and a half attempts per game does force defenses to respect his deep range shot, opening up driving lanes. Ja has an excellent 53.2% effective field goal percentage on both two and three point shots. Amidst Ja's second straight record setting game against the Spurs, while these next plays you're about to see a breakdown of definitely won't get as much attention as the flashy dunk or ridiculous catch on the baseline and buzzer beater, nonetheless, these sequences display the type of advanced bag that Ja Droppers brought to his game in 2021-22 season. After regathering the rock with the shot clock winding down, Morant lets it fly from around the logo and watch the perfect L-shaped release on the man's jumper, keeping your shot fundamentally sound even when triggering it from 40 plus feet is extremely difficult, but Ja makes it look easy on this pull up from the logo. The improved footwork plus the fluid and elusive way in which Morant's attacking the basket this season allows him to simply stop on a dime and fade off big men for polished floaters in the lane. Ja's ambidextrous handle forces defenders to respect his attack from both sides. In this case, Keldon Johnson assumes Morant is driving left, given Ja sells him in that direction. But instead, key in on how Ja takes one dribble, plants his left pivot foot, before bursting into the lane with a Beyblade-esque spin move. Morant's ISO shot creation makes his playing style 
perfectly suited for the playoffs, so it's no wonder he put up 38 assist and 5 rebound averages on solid 49, 33, and 79 shooting splits in 2021's postseason. Following a blitz in the pick and roll from two Alamo City defenders right here, despite a defender being in between his Kiwi big man, this laser from Morant, not to mention a great catch in traffic by Steven Adams, makes opposing coaches question whether or not to double Morant the next time down the floor. Given his individual domination has fueled Memphis to nearly the number two seed in the Western Conference, that makes Morant a prime 2022 MVP candidate. Of course, there's plenty of worthy candidates this year, as big men Joel Embiid of the Philadelphia 76ers and Nikola Jokic of the Denver Nuggets are current betting favorites. Reigning champion with Milwaukee and Giannis Adetokounmpo is above Morant in the national conversation. Then again, voter fatigue's a real thing. Plus, a surprisingly difficult Eastern Conference could hurt Giannis' MVP chances going forward unless the Bucks go on a tear and finish as the number one seed. Steph Curry's MVP odds have plummeted to plus 850, with Golden State struggling without Draymond Green, along with Curry's shooting slump before the All-Star game. It's unlikely, but if you were to bet $20 on DraftKings for John Morant to win MVP, you'd get a whopping 220 bucks. To be fair, Jaw's odds are currently down at plus 1100, but Morant would jump Curry in MVP rankings if Memphis is able to jump the Warriors in the Western Conference standings, but let's say the Grizzlies go 17-2 or better in their final 19 games and challenge for the number one seed in their conference. Given Memphis has the second easiest schedule remaining, according to Tankathon, that wouldn't be the most outlandish prediction. Without Chris Paul, let's assume the Suns fumble a few games here and there, they likely won't, but if they do, and the Grizzlies overtake Phoenix as the number one seed, that's Jaw's easiest path to becoming the obvious 2022 MVP. Behind Morant in the odds for MVP, Devin Booker is at plus 1800 and can make a run depending on how the Suns do without Chris Paul for the next six to eight weeks. DeMar DeRozan's odds are at plus 2200. Luka Doncic is at plus 3000. Don't forget how the narrative in the mainstream media and NBA YouTube determines the MVP winner. Teams have to be very successful and finish high up in the standings Voters also tend to spice things up instead of awarding the same player every season. That's why you can't count out Jaw. The story revolving around Morant's ascendance keeps growing just as the Grizzlies' winning ways continue. While Jaw winning the 2022 MVP probably won't happen, Jaw's setting the foundation for himself to be a dark horse candidate this year and a top candidate for many years to come. Is Morant a legitimate MVP candidate? Best answer down below in the comments gets next video shout out. Top five commenters with the most shout outs by March 21st receive free NBA merchandise of their choosing this spring. So leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is Boston Haltane, who says the Mavs X Factor is Jalen Brunson. He's going to be important to the Mavs playoff run this season as a secondary shot creator behind Luka. He's having a breakout year on both sides of the court, stepping into a bigger role. He's been extremely underrated this season, but he deserves more credit for how he's been playing. If he's performing to the best of his abilities, then he's definitely the Mavs X Factor. Appreciate every answer. I hope you have a great one. DFlow signing off.